What you're gonna need is a turkey, the bang stick shell, wood, glue, and you're also gonna need a four and a half inch angle grinder. You're gonna need a cut off wheel. You're gonna need a sand disc, a brad nail gun. There's the nails for it right there. You're also gonna need them, them, a tape measure, taxidermy shears, big drill, little drill, stapler, self tappers, eyelets, hammer, saran wrap, Phillips head screwdriver, scalpel, a good knife, alcohol, uh, wood glue, a pencil, speed square, big clippers, you can use little ones if you want to, them kind of pliers, a paint roller, black paint, Bondo, glue, rubber gloves, 20 mule team borax, you're also going to need one of these hangers, this is that, you're going to need one of them, a punch to get your bang stick primer uh, shell out of it, pins for the skin, hammer for that, you're going to need the punch to knock that out from that way, okay, you're going to need some felt, it's, tw it's a 12 and a half cents per corner. I think we can manage that. It's quick clamps. Now, we've took barn wood. We've ripped this three foot, three foot long. The backboard is three foot by three foot, 45 degree angles. Save your corners. On the back is one before spruce. The actual part of this is th three eighths BC. You see the one before is on the back, okay? So, I brad nailed or that way, okay? Clamped on the one before us. Brad nail, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, whatever. This is three foot by three foot. Those are three foot long. The spruce, one before us, three foot long, 45 degree angles on all of them. Now, for the wings, what you gotta do is you take your knife, take your scalpel, and you're gonna skin the wings out, okay? Get the meat, get the bone, get everything out, all the junk, and you're gonna get Bondo, okay? If you don't know how to do that, Look it up on YouTube. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to explain it. Now, you're going to freaking get your Bondo. Not too thick, not too thin enough where it's going to be firm and held. Okay. Get all three wings or all three pieces of the wing. Now, for this, we caped. Okay. Caped. Clean. Bondo here. Bondo here. Other wing is there. Okay. Now, that black paint. Three or four coats. All right. This is going to be the last piece. We'll go over that in a second. This is that 3 8 BC. All right, it's already kind of sanded. I sanded it at 60 grit before I painted it. You're going to need a table saw, okay? Now, the barn wood, three inches on the outside is what we did. Three foot by three inches at 45 degree angles. The spruce, it was one before 45 degree angles. The spruce goes on first. The barn wood is the last piece on this, okay? The barn wood is the last piece. We rip both edges, make them clean. I'm not worried about that. I really don't care if it's fresh. All right. No glue. Just lay it on here. Get it symmetrical. Follow your guidelines in little dark colors. Okay. Don't worry about this being raised. All right. When we compress this down with screws into the backboard, it's going to flatten it down a bit. And yeah. Oh, well. If it's raised a little bit, it'd be okay. Uh, yeah. Under this, we're just laying it on it, okay? Not glued yet, nothing. Well, when this is all said and done, the very last piece, you're gonna put a little glue right there, or however. Add that little tail right there. Right. Whether that's where it went on the wing or not, that's where we're putting it. If you don't like it, you can do it different, but that's where I'm putting it. And you can do this where you cape it to the tail Take the cape off, pin it, borax it. I had a little extra, so I know when I get these board, these three-inch boards, I'm going to have a little bit right here. I'm just going to add a little glue and, uh, well, you know, extend that. That way I can put that board right here, and you'll never see it. It's going to look real nice and pretty. There's a hundred ways to skin a cat, but this is how we're going to do this. So the wings, okay, right here, okay. We put the bondo right there so we can line that up, sink that thing down, press it down when you bolt it, and then bolt it up here where it's going to be under the cape, and you'll never see it. And, uh, yeah, do it in order. One, two, that, and then them. Them are last. Now, I usually just put one right here and one right there through the bondo, compress it flat, push them flat, right? They're going to be raised push them flat, then bolt them. Now, I know I said to do them in order, but you can put one, right, 
get it placed, get it right, get them even. Put one in it, then put you two. I don't give a shit if you like this method or not. This is the way I'm doing it. It works, it's easy, and it's quick. All right? Ta-ta. Now, add the second one and press this thing flat. All right. So on this, I marked the center of the bondo, okay? Laid the fan on there, brought a yardstick up, evened it up all the way across. I know that my bondo is two inches high and an inch and a half from center on both sides. So that's two by three, give or take. And I just pop me a little hole in it. That way I can know where the, the fan is going to be and screw it from the back. That way I don't have to mess any of the feathers up coming in from the front. All right, we figured out what we're going to do. I pre-drilled it, right? My two little holes right here. Oh, I'm going to send either one or I'm going to send two. I ain't figured it out. I let you All know. right, I missed it, so I went right above it. I didn't even hit it. So I'm going to drill me two more holes. I'm probably going to come a little closer. Put them about an inch, inch and a quarter down, a little closer together. Pop, pop, and we're going to do it again. All right, that still didn't hit. we just on damn top of it. So we're going to come down another inch and a quarter and do it again. Third time's charm. All righty, third time was a charm. She's stuck. So now, real gently, all right, I'm going to take this. Gently, capital G, and I'm going to spray the inside of the skin on the cape, and then I'm going to spray right below it, okay? Take this, lift it up as far as you can get it. Take that spray. Try to stay away from the edge. This, this shit's permanent, and it will not come off with any ease. I want this to stick, and stick it will. Hold it down for about 60 seconds, and you're good. Now, you may judge my carpentry methods. I, however, don't give a shit. What we're going to do is clamp the hell out of it and screw it. It's going to look like this. I know, atrocity, right? But I want this board as flat as I can get it. And I'm going to put three of these in the back of it. Boop, boop. All right, all right. There we go. She's good. All righty. Screwed, 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 screwed. No glue. Now we gotta add the triangle pieces in the corner. And yeah, let's do it. Add a little bit of glue on there. Smear it with your fingers. Keep paper towel with you. here in the corner take a clamp all you need is one I think it's supposed to be clamped for like 30 minutes leave it for 30 we're gonna do both sides both ends this one has to have an eyelet drilled into it for the beard and spurs and we got to figure out something for that one because it's gonna stick up a little bit but we got to drill that in for the shotgun shell take your shotgun shell take your punch go in from the top Knock that center hole out. That's going to knock your primer out. And then, okay, take your eyelet. Go ahead and pre-drill center on your triangle pieces. And we're going to screw eyelet in and shotgun shell in. We're screwing the shotgun shell in instead of gluing it because people like to pick and prod on these things. And this is a little preventive maintenance for this thing falling off in the future. Use your chainsaw file. Use anything that will fit inside this eyelet hole. And you can just go ahead and speed that process up. Get that thing in there. Center it up. Done. So I'm just using an eighth inch steel punch. Got it in the primer pocket. 
knock that primer out and now we can put a screw in it all right so i've already got a self tapper in this shotgun shell i couldn't get it out to show you i just stuck it in from the top you're gonna take a phillips head get that thing locked up lined up and just take her down nice and firm Now we can rotate that where we want it. Give it a nice little snug ta ta ta. There it is. All right, she's clamped up, gluing up. All righty, final part. We're gonna be taking off the tips of them, and then we're gonna take that, and we're gonna run around this thing and find any little sharp points. We're gonna sand them flush and flat and nice. <laughs> Give this thing the old swap a -roo. Now I'm adding felt to the bottom. Three o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock is going to get one of the hangers. I'm just doing this so uh, when we put this on the wall and we're trying to center it up, it don't take the paint off the wall. So I'm going to line this up, staple, 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 snip, 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 straight across in the triangle. One, two, three. Final thing, get you a hanger after you've got piece one, piece two, piece three. Get this hanger centered up, run into these fastener head cabinet screws into it. Psh, call her day. <laughs> ah! Chicken shit. All righty, she good. All right, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. We done, baby. Stick a fork in it. Golly, you are one ugly specimen. You know that? You better look at me, boy. Why, wow, it is real nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. I did it myself. No help at all. One by three, custom cut. Barnwood, tacked on to 3 8 BC. We got some one before spruce on the back, building our frame. 3 6, 9 o'clock, 3 6, 9 of felt, heavy duty McKenzie hanger. One before is on the back, 3 8 BC in the center. One by three, barnwood on the front. You can use whatever on the front. We've got Kellyup custom shotgun shell down there, bolted to the corner triangle. We got a brass eyelet up here on top for when the spurs and beard get dry. I'm gonna hang them from it and they'll hang down to about right here somewhere. And uh, yeah, she's ready to go on the wall. Stay violent.